So there's only one king when it comes to fashion on this continent, and uh, I'm lucky enough to call him my mentor <laughs> and my friend, and also my lover. Kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> D, it's been a minute since we've had you on the show. I know. You know, face to face, just kind of uh, a catch up, as you as you would call it. I mean, we were obviously at the the big event where you paired up with Jockey. Let's talk about that first. I think the collaboration with Jockey was a, a natural progression of the brand because we want David Taylor to become a lifestyle brand, and every year we try to bring something fresh into the brand. And um, last year, I, I remember I think it was October, approached Jockey South Africa to actually manufacture um, David Lally underwear. Little did I know that they have like a little surprise under their sleeve to say, we actually want to collaborate with you before we actually manufacture your underwear. Then I took up the opportunity to collaborate with Jockey. So we have Jockey by David Lally available in the next week or so in stores. So exciting. Uh, and uh, it's been like phenomenal. I mean, I learned quite a lot about making underwear, foundation garment, and also different fabrications. It was a, it was a beautiful, it has been a phenomenal journey. The one thing I love about you though, is that you're always forever hungry and you talk about brand growth. Yeah. And you're definitely one of the brands in South Africa, especially in fashion, that number one has made its mark. What is your recipe for success as a brand, not just a fashion brand in, in Africa? I think it's, a, like you said, always wanting to do more and also the passion for, for being an entrepreneur made in South Africa, made in Africa, and to also not to, try to, not to try to prove a point to anyone, but to say it is possible to build a global brand in South Africa that is aspirational and uh, and also just keep on reinventing ourselves as a brand and also not even trying to become somebody else. We are David Lally and uh, this is all we know and all we know is that we've got to be the best in everything that we do not for anyone else but for our customers, our consumers and uh, also for the public at large. How did you start from just young designer with a dream to actually having this incredible company? I mean, it all started with, a, I think, a dream, but without a plan. Because I always say, you know, if I have plans, it's great, but opportunities have come our way so many times. And uh, we just try to do different things along the way. Being an entrepreneur was never part of my plan. I wanted just to be a fabulous designer, and that's it. But with, you know, with everything that we do, had to now start being profitable, hire people, and to have a, a whole team that makes David Lally to be David Lally has been a long journey. And along the way, it has been um, challenging, and which has been part of our highlights as we grow as a brand. What is, what is maybe your, your biggest lesson that you've had to learn building this empire? I mean, it has been like uh, really having to get people who are specialists in what, in the entire, I would say, um, value chain, uh, from financial managers into pattern makers to cutters and machinists, so that I can be able to excel in what I do. Because when I started out, I did everything. I designed, I cut, I sew, I see customers, source fabrics, everything else. As, as a brand grows, you know, you get to a point you can't do everything yourself. Because we're we, we definitely running a business, and in a business, especially in the fashion industry, so much happens at the same time. I mean, people ask us, how do we cope with so many projects? It's because we have an entire team helping us. Listen, and I mean, also, you are incredible. Guys, literally, I come here, and it's like 9 o'clock in the morning. You've just stepped off a plane from New York. You're already in the <laughs> office, slaving away. You're running off to another meeting, then you're getting on another plane to go to Milan. You're doing... Well... How do you, like... Obviously, it's passion and it's drive, but yeah. I mean, how do you keep going? You, you gotta, you gotta, one, uh, this, this is one thing I'll say to people. If it's not your brand, it's easy, it's easy for you to say, I'm shutting down, I'm going home now. Mm. But if it's your passion and it's your baby, mm. you go an extra mile all the time. 